Welcome to Expert Panel Discussion. My name is John Roy and your host today. We have cybersecurity experts with us today. Mr. Paris from Finland, Christine Robinson and Tim. As the number of mobile users, digital applications and data networks increase, so do the network outages, data compromised by hackers, computer viruses and other incidents. These incidents affect our lives in ways that range from inconvenient to life-threatening. On top of that now we have threats and risks from cyberspace. Hence, it is top of our priority to understand the whole spectrum of cybersecurity. Let's understand more from our experts. Christine, what is the buzz about cybersecurity? Can you please shred lights on the buzz of cybersecurity? Is it real or not? Well, with prominent cybersecurity breaches becoming a somewhat regular occurrence, including recent attacks on companies to retrieve credit card data from customers. Hence, organizations around the country are, at present, frequently outgunned in the fight to protect their essential information. The problem isn't bound exclusively to the private sector either, with government agencies still struggling to defend themselves against cyber invasions from both, yes, from both international and domestic threats. As a result of these and other high-profile cases of compromised information, the field of cybersecurity has experienced a surge of public attention. The buzz is real! Well, this leads us to know more about cybersecurity. Let's ask to our other expert. Parash, would you further help us to understand, what is cybersecurity? Sure, John. Before we understand about cybersecurity, it would be beneficial to know. What is cyber and cyberspace? What are cyber threats and risks? It would be also good to know about cyber infrastructure. Then we will have better understanding of cyber security. Well, cyber means relating to, or characteristic of the culture of computers, information technology, and virtual reality. NSA defines cyberspace as, a global domain within the information environment consisting of the interdependent network of information systems infrastructures, including the Internet, telecommunications networks, computer systems, and embedded processors and controllers. In nutshell, the notional environment in which communication over computer networks occurs. This is good time to also understand the whole cyber infrastructure and what is it? Let's know more about cyber infrastructures from Tim, as he is a responsible for national cyber security in the North America. Tim, kindly explain us more. Yep, cyber infrastructure is covering broad range of technologies and related things. Cyber infrastructure includes electronic information and communications systems and services. Further, the information contained in these systems and services Information and communication systems and services are composed of all hardware and software that process, store, and communicate information, or any combination of all of these. First element is processing. It includes the creation, access, modification, and destruction of information. Second element is storage. It includes paper, magnetic, electronic, and all other media types. And third element is communications. It includes sharing and distribution of information. For example, computer systems, control systems, like a supervisory control and data acquisition ASCADA. Networks, such as the Internet, and cyber services, like a managed security services, these are part of cyber infrastructure. Now, we know about cyber, cyberspace and cyber infrastructure. As Parash said, it would be very important to know cyber threats and risks. Can you say more about these, Parash? Sure, the spectrum of cyber threats and risks are very wide. Hence, these are main reasons to be worried about. Well, cyberspace and its underlying infrastructure are vulnerable to a wide range of risks stemming from both physical and cyber threats and hazards. Sophisticated cyber actors and nation states exploit vulnerabilities to steal information and money and are developing capabilities to disrupt, destroy, or threaten the delivery of essential services. 
a range of traditional crimes are now being perpetrated through cyberspace. This includes the production and distribution of child pornography and child exploitation conspiracies, banking and financial fraud, intellectual property violations, and other crimes, all of which have substantial human and economic consequences. Christine was explaining reasons behind cybersecurity buzz. Isn't it, Christine? Absolutely right. As we know cyberspace is particularly difficult to secure due to a number of factors, 1. Ability of malicious actors to operate from anywhere in the world, 2. The linkages between cyberspace and physical systems, and 3. Difficulty of reducing vulnerabilities and consequences in complex cyber networks. In addition, a growing concern is the cyber threat to critical infrastructure which is increasingly subject to sophisticated cyber intrusions that pose new risks. As information technology becomes increasingly integrated with physical infrastructure operations there is increased risk for wide-scale or high-consequence events. Our experts have noted these cyber threats and risks could cause harm or disrupt services upon which our economy and the daily lives of millions of people depend. In light of the risk and potential consequences of cyber events, strengthening the security and resilience of cyberspace has become an important homeland security mission. Vast amounts of information now pass through data channels on a daily basis, with a great deal of it being highly sensitive and potentially debilitating if released. Both the major organizations and the consumers that make use of their services have a definite, vested interest in keeping their files, whether they're photos, documents, passwords, or sensitive personal information, well secured, which makes effective security measures essential. Recently, American President Obama has also shown concern about cybersecurity. Let's go to White House to know, what did he said? Over to White House. The, the, the cyber world is, is sort of the wild, wild west. And to some degree, we're asked to be the sheriff. When something like Sony happens, people want to know what can government do about this. If information is being shared by terrorists in the cyber world, an attack happens, people want to know, are there ways of stopping that from happening? We all know what we need to do. We have to build stronger defenses and disrupt more attacks. We have to make cyberspace safer. We have to improve cooperation across the board. And, and by the way, this is not just here in America, but internationally. That's one thing I want to emphasize. This is not a Democratic issue or a Republican issue. This is not a liberal or conservative issue. Everybody's online and everybody's vulnerable. Back to our experts. Christine. Would you help us to know, after all, what is the cybersecurity? Indeed, first, I will explain, cyber attacks. And then, it isn't easier to understand cybersecurity. An attack, via cyberspace, targeting an enterprise's use of cyberspace for the purpose of disrupting, disabling, destroying, or maliciously controlling a computing environment, or infrastructure or destroying the integrity of the data or stealing controlled information. That is called cyber attacks. While cybersecurity is the ability to protect or defend the use of cyberspace from cyber attacks, there are other definitions but this is most simple definition of cybersecurity. In addition to Christine's NSA definition, there are two more prominent definitions. First definition, cybersecurity is the activity or process, ability or capability, or state whereby information and communications systems and the information contained therein. Are protected from and or defended against damage, unauthorized use or modification, or exploitation. There is also an extended definition of cybersecurity. Let me allow to share with our audience. Strategy, policy, and standards regarding the security of and operations in cyberspace, and encompassing the full range of threat reduction, 
vulnerability reduction, deterrence, international engagement, incident response, resiliency, and recovery policies and activities, including computer network operations, information assurance, law enforcement, diplomacy, military, and intelligence missions as they relate to the security and stability of the global information and communications infrastructure. These are two definitions. Today, in expert panel discussion we have learned all about cybersecurity and why it is important from our experts. We are thanking our experts and all of you who stayed with us. Thank you very much and see you next time.